Hey guys, I'm Jinx, and this is Ken Follett Follett. It's the pillars, uh, the pillars of the earth. <laughs> uh, book one. There is also book two and three, but you know that's future stuff. Um, before I say anything else, let's start the book. Uh, yes. Y uh, well, sure. I guess it's tutorial time then. Current location, cathedral. Walk. Yeah, okay, that's pretty standard. We're not making any noises. Move your cursor around the room. When it changes to that symbol, click the right mouse button multiple times. Multiple times. Masterfully crafted. Sally knows what she's doing. Sh strange when your children surpass you. Okay. To see all objects... Right, right. We can press this down and do this. Options menu? Hold on. Oh, it's... Maps. No maps available. Documents. This is gonna be a whole thing, isn't it? Uh, tools. Those were Tom's tools. He wanted me to have them. Best tools I ever had. Those were Tom's tools. Okay. Okay, okay, interesting. You can think about shit multiple times. That's... that's... new. You... Oh, you can interact too. Nice. Tools. Uh, sure, let's take them. Okay. It's a little weird. No music. Ominous ambient sound. Your inventory is displayed at the bottom. Oh, at the bottom of the screen. On the left hand side. Click your tools to equip them. Oh, okay. And we can use them on the gargoyle. And it's. it's uh, whoa! What? To work on the gar. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. That's cool! So, it's. Nice and interactive, you know? With animations and everything. And that's Sally. Talk to Sally is our quest. My daughter, as stubborn as me, and as stubborn as her mother. Okay. Oh yeah, you have dialogue options! Dude! I'm sorry, I keep um, not expecting this. Left click to choose your answer. Late in game, you can also skip lines of dialogue. Oh, okay. Wave to get your daughter's... Let's wave. Let's not... Yeah, anyway, let's not corona in her face. Just Hello. And that caught her attention. If you wanna stay silent, wait for Oh shit, um to come with you. Uh come with me, come on, why not? Wanna come with? And she said yes, nice. First companion. <laughs> I'm kidding, I don't know if we'll get companions in the game. When your cursor changes to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And you can double-click to instantly go out. You don't need to watch the characters walk to the actual exit. Okay. Shiring, England. 11.35. Interesting. So this game is based on a book, also called The Pillars of the Earth, and the book is also by um, Ken Follett slash Fillet, however you <laughs> however you pronounce oh, this it. This should do. How do you feel? Oh, can't complain. After all, there's a cozy tree in my back. <laughs> oh, I promise. This will be the last fire. After tonight, it won't be trees anymore, but walls and a roof. In Shiring, I will find a job. What if the bishop wants to hire you for life? To 
keep his palace in shape. Maybe strengthen the town's defenses. Plain things, Tom Builder. Just walls and roofs. Who might that be? There. Took me a lifetime to find some dry ones in this wet. Why didn't we just use your staff? The old thing would have done nicely. Because that thing is precious. It's not made to burn. And we might be able to sell it. Hmm. Right, now let's see if this does the trick. Um, make a fire. Sure, uh, just give me a second. Um, firewood. All I need is a few good sparks, flint and steel. It's good that oh, I always have I'm some... Freezing. Oh, the flint is dwindling, but the steel still shines. Let's start a fire then. No kindling, no anything. Just flint and steel, Martha, and boom. You want to cut up some turnips? We'll be making soup. Mm, if it helps. Alfred, mm. you go and look for water. We could just eat snow. No, it'll be proper water for my family. You sit. I'll take care of it. I mean, you. Still haven't answered my question, Tom Builder. What if the bishop offered you a job like they did in Exeter? Something that is beneath your craft, but pays for a lifetime. Easy work. Well, building something is never easy. You know what I mean. After Exeter, you said I could create something that matters. Something that stands for eternity. Or I could die setting up houses and sheds. But what if houses and sheds would feed your family? Would you stay this time? Or would you keep on looking? Um... He could do so much more, but... Look at the condition his family's in. She's pregnant. I'd be glad to stay. Would you now? Just promise me you'll think about it. I need to find some proper water. Cake? Okay. Clue. Oh, you just collected a clue. Clues work uh, like items. Use them on characters to talk about them. Maybe oh. we can sell the baby. Alfred! I'm Jesus. joking. Don't listen to me. You scared the shit out of me. I didn't expect them to talk. <laughs> use them on characters to talk about them and use them on objects to ponder how the clue and the object might be connected. Oh. Book one, Stupid progress. Snow. Oh. Why did it have to come down just now? Should never have left. Metal well, pot? we're here now. Guess there's no use complaining. Metal pot. Just what I need. Our last pot. I'll need it for the water. Yeah, let's 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 grab it. One of the last things we haven't had to sell yet. Aw, poor little Hungry. Martha. I'm fine. It's the first tool one would need to build a church, I think. Used to make... Well, let's grab the let's grab the staff, too. I mean, this is an adventure game, you know? Can you Battle see Lake the sun Park. yet? No. But Martha... Don't <laughs> distract me. I'm working. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, man. In... Let's inspect it. Oh. Oh, it's a... Document. Tom Staff. Tom received this mason's tool as a farewell gift in Exeter. Uh, 1125. Ten, ten years ago? Wait, really? You've been... Okay. On the road that long? I doubt it. He used it to lay the groundwork for new buildings. Its shadow can tell time and point, uh, point out the east... Point out the east, the direction a church must always face. Um. Oh, okay. Uh. 
Sorry, I got this. I thought that would scroll way more. Exeter was Tom's first time working on a cathedral, and initially it was like any other job. His master builder often scolded him for not working up to the sta up to standard, but soon Tom began to understand the importance of proportion, the symbolism of numbers, and the almost magical formulas uh, for solid structures. Isn't it formulae? Whatever. The staff reminds him of his dream to one day build a perfect cathedral from the ground up. Okay. So that's his dream. Build a perfect cathedral like that's everlasting. I wish we had stayed. They have no work for your father. So what? I can work. You're a mason just like Tom. If he can't find work, you can't either. Anything around here? Into the fo- oh. Eh, sure. Let's go into the forest. Deep in the woods. Get water. Okay. Dirty snow. Plain snow. Dirtied with crow muck. That must be something better. Yeah. Frozen puddle. A frozen puddle of water. They deserve better than that. But if we cook it, it'll be fine. Exactly. Um, Can you grab it somehow? <laughs> too hard for my fist, <laughs> Just... but my pot should break it. Yeah, that, that would have been my idea too. Let's break it. Houses and sheds. Walls and roofs. It's not that bad. I'd be glad. Oh. oh. <laughs> Sorry. I should be glad. What is it? Tom, oh. what's keeping you? That should do. Yeah, he's. Oh, that was saving, right? Yeah, he keeps dreaming about it, but the way things are going right now, he won't be able to actually achieve his dream. Goodbye, crows. Rock. Strong granite. If broken down properly, these would make a wonderful... something. Or just another plain, boring door. In the prologue. Yeah, see what I mean? Like, he... I think it is... Let's go deeper. Just because I'm cur uh, curious. It's just more woods down that way. Well, I mean, it does say deeper into the forest. I'd kind of assume that <laughs> there'd be even more woods that way. But okay. Let's go back. Let's um. Let's boil that. It must be making him at least somewhat miserable to know that like his dream is fading ever further away from him right like right now they're struggling to survive so it would be stupid to not take any job he gets to build anything but obviously he wants to build something grand and everlasting the baby's due in the coming weeks but Agnes is still holding up nicely. I need to get her under a roof. Yeah. Martha? Those are our last turnips. If I don't get work tomorrow, we'll have to start begging. See? And Alfred. Alfred's become a bit stubborn, but he'll come around. He's a good boy. Okay then. Um, yeah, let's, let's boil the... Uh, the ice. Or water or whatever. Um, did you think about what I asked you?
I'll take the job. Dreaming of building a cathedral was foolish. When we get to Shiring, I'll take the job. Why is a cathedral so special? Well, you've seen a few. You should know. Yes, but there are so many already. <laughs> Why do you have to build another one? Is it because God needs more houses? <laughs> May I? If you must. Well. Oh. Roof. Uh, let's start with the walls. Actually, a cathedral isn't so different from any other house. It always starts simple, with some walls. And on top oh. of that, you put a roof. Very good. A roof to keep off the rain, and walls to keep up the roof. Together that makes one big, long, but dark room. Like a cave. <laughs> oh. <laughs> let's let's put in the windows. Let some light in. So of course you may want some light coming in. Windows. Right. So the people inside can see what they're doing. Um, I think you forgot something. People can't get in if there are only walls. So what do you suggest? So, what do you suggest? Doors, of course. Right. And not only doors, but a big and impressive one to let in as many people as possible. By now, we've carved quite a few holes in our cathedral. Unfortunately, not every building can carry a roof like that and have so many windows. So what do we do? Good and solid work. That's what we do. If we don't want our cave to collapse, we have to make everything perfect. Not only strong, but consistent and perfectly even. The walls, the roof, the windows, everything. Perfectly proportioned. You shouldn't say big words like proportioned when talking to a child. <laughs> what does it mean? It means beauty. Well, it means not only will it keep them dry. Huh. It will give them hope. Like this? <laughs> oh, fuck. Mama? Ah, shit. The baby is coming. But it's not due. Have your waters broken yet? Soon after we started walking this morning. You should have told me. Uh. I'm so tired. I don't believe I can bring it into the world. Oh, look at all the blood. Not helping. Um, 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 help Agnes. Okay, first off, children. Children? Um, uh, <clears throat> Calm down. Calm down, you two. There's nothing to be afraid of. Let us help. <sighs> okay, Alfred. Alfred. Build a bigger fire, get some more water, uh... Okay, get, you get some warm water. Get more water. Take snow if you must to make it warm. Right. Okay. I hope we I hope what we can, can give I do? Yeah. You. Okay, Martha. Um 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 Going to need some reeds. I don't know what that is, but we're gonna need them. Collect some reeds and make me two lengths of string, each big enough for a necklace. What for? You'll see. Okay. Everything will be just fine. This is all my fault. She trusted me to provide for her, and now she has to give birth in a forest in winter. Damn. Um. Uh. Um. 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 Look around. Is there anything we can get to help? Okay. Well, that didn't do. Hold her. All right. Just comfort. Oh, as much as possible. Your hands are cold. Okay, yeah, never warm them for you. No. Stay here. Please. Right. Um, Walter with cold hands. Uh, a story. Let's tell a story. Remember when Martha was born? 
The Lady Isabella acted as midwife. You were building a chapel, and you asked her to send her maid to fetch the midwife from the village. Yeah, and she said, that drunken old witch will let her deliver a literal wolfhound pups, and she took us to her own chamber. The poor Lord Robert could not go to bed until Martha was born. The water's warm now. Put it next to me. Okay. Um, well, okay, let me, let me look around, let me look around. We have water now. Metal pod, the water is warm, okay. So we have warm hands now? Hold her. Perfect. I'm here with you. I know. Yeah, it's gonna work out just fine. Let's tell her another story. I'd say for a year as bad as this one, we've managed quite well. You lost your work. And then Martha almost got killed by that pig thief. <laughs> you call that well? Uh, we're going through hell. I oh, know. But we're still here for each other, aren't we? Holding together as a family. Us builders aren't carved out of measly wood. Never were. You expect a lump of granite to come falling from my legs? I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> it's not long now. Be ready. Uh, where's Martha? Come on. Um, 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 um. Okay, let's keep talking. I am proud. Until we of get you. the string. I feel so weak. You're making. You're a strong woman. That's why I love you so much. Two of a kind day. She's losing too much blood. I'm sorry that I kept quiet all day. I didn't want anyone to worry. Um, it's... <laughs> These two options, really? Come on. It's alright. The day was hard enough on everyone without me complaining. I know. But we will get through this. It's coming! Help me, Tom! Um. Okay. It's coming! Okay. I can see it! It looks horrible. <laughs> He's perfect. Don't <laughs> say perfect that. Perfect boy. It's a newborn. Of course he looks like an alien. It's normal. You're still bleeding. It's all right. It will stop soon. Tom. Yes. Thank you for being my midwife. Do you remember the night I came to you, in your lodge, when you were working on my father's church? Of course. How could I ever forget? I never regretted giving myself to you. Never. For one moment. Every time I think of that night, I feel so glad. Me too. I hope you build your cathedral. God damn it. You, um... I thought you were against it. I was. But I was wrong. You deserve something beautiful. Build a beautiful cathedral. For me. Papa. What's wrong with her face? Agnes! Agnes, wake up! Deadlink Entertainment and somebody presents. <laughs> that was the intro. God damn.
based on the novel The Pillars of the Earth by Ken Last name. Tilo Alpaman. That's the group who made the music. Those are our three main characters. The Pillars of the Earth. One hell of a fucking intro. Whoa. Oh, whoa, no, 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 no. Oh, fuck. Okay, I couldn't read it. 